Hey guys, it's Anna from Boss Canine and we got Bethany here. She's our assistant trainer at Boss Canine and we just got done doing a hike with Draper and Jethro and something that we wanted to chat a little bit with you guys about. We're always getting asked questions about how can I, uh, you know, exercise my dog more, play more with my dog, what are extra activities we can do. So we're going to chat a little bit about what are some ways so Jethro on the walk was wearing a weighted vest Jethro is Bethany's personal pup so um, Bethany do you want to talk about share with our followers a little bit about the weighted vest how did you pick it out why do you like using it what's what do you need to be aware of when you're buying one if you want to get one for your dog like what are what are some some of your thoughts around a weighted vest. So I did a lot of research. Uh, I am big into researching products, what works, what doesn't work. Uh, and that's gonna change per dog, per person. What your lifestyle, what your dog looks like, what your dog is built like. So Jethro is very lean, he's high energy. So, and it's almost impossible for me to tire him out without any tools. Yeah. So the weighted vest, I looked into it and I really saw good reviews. I measured him. There's th several different sizes. Yeah, that's an important part of it. Definitely make sure that you guys are doing your due diligence and measuring your dogs when you're, when you're looking. Yeah, and that's properly fitted. Uh, and then mm -hmm. it comes with little bags that you can put weight in. You can put sand, you can put, I've heard people use BBs. Uh, I have sand in there right now and I weighed them and made sure it's even. Another big thing is make sure that it's even on each side. Yep, definitely. And I gradually added weight. I uh, got him used to it. He's already used to having things on his body, but I still took it gradual. Mm -hmm. Took it real slow, made sure he was comfortable, he was able, and I also watched how he moved. Yeah. Made sure he's able to move comfortably, he is not too tight, restricting any sort of movement, uh, and then gradually added that weight all mm -hmm. over uh, because there's several different spots that you can have the weight in. Right. I mean, it's just like humans, right? I mean, we don't walk yeah. into the gym and start squatting 300 pounds. I mean, yeah. you have to start with the bar and work your way up. Definitely the same same with our dogs. Yeah, so I took it very slow. You know, increase the time, increase the weight until where he's at now, where he can wear the weighted vest for the two maximum of two hours he's on the treadmill mm -hmm. uh, and he is super comfortable with it and like you guys just saw that he was swimming with it on yeah so that's not something that you're gonna do the first time you put the vest on your dog right so maybe like a what do you what do you recommend maybe like a 10 minute walk on the first yeah. time and it's always I always like to play it safe yeah. Take it, you know, if you're not sure take it slower than you need to mm -hmm. uh, and it's gonna depend again on each dog you know, there's some dogs that are like, oh, this is great, still take it slow. Or there's mm -hmm. some dogs that you're going to put that on them and they're going to be like, I don't know how to move. How do I walk with this on? So you're probably going to have to, you know, encourage, you know, use some treats, get them really comfortable with it, take it super slow. Maybe you're just putting it on and off a yep. couple times until they're comfortable and they're relaxed and then taking a couple steps with mm -hmm. it on. is going to look, it depends on the dog really how you know, fast that's going to progress, but you still want to take it slow. Well, I definitely recommend that because I, with my own dog, I taught her how to wear shoes because I like hiking with her in the winter time. And when I first put it on her, and if and if you, if anyone out there is watching this has put shoes on your dog, like <laughs> you already know what I'm talking about. Cause she had the shoes on and she was like, what is on my feet? <laughs> yeah. She like freaked out for a second. She's like, <laughs> yeah, know? high step in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So so you know, just on and off, on and off, putting the sh putting the shoe on, good reward. Taking it off, yes, you know. So I the, I did a lot of I used my markers, guys. I used food. I used high value, especially since it was something that it was new. So that's another note just on on shoes and accessories because it can each dog's going to react differently to the accessories mm. as well. But definitely using using food. Make sure you're using your markers when you're when you're using the vest. What else? What else? What else is good stuff for our dogs? Spring poles. We were talking about spring mm -hmm. poles earlier. 
Um, I actually, I have a homemade spring pole that I use with my dog. Um, that's a really great way to exercise them, honestly. I know they, they kind of get a bad rep, um, yeah. but you know, when used properly, it's, it's you exercising your dog and your dog being able to um, have a really fun time with it. And not every dog's as into it as others. Yeah. I personally have a blue nose pit bull, so she loves she loves tugging in general. So a spring pole, if you if you don't know what it is already, guys, um, it's essentially a, a heavy duty spring, and on the other end of it, I put a a tug toy, a really a really a durable tug on there, and um, I actually hang my spring from a tree, and she plays tug essentially. Uh, with the tree so really easy really easy to make I mean you can go to Home Depot and pick up the supplies and build something like that um, obviously we use treadmill a ton mm -hmm. you guys see in our videos all the time I mean these are just extra ways that we can drain energy because a lot of times when we see behavioral issues it's because well not solely but a huge reason is because people don't drain enough energy in their dog it's going to amplify that energy is going to amplify any behavioral things that you see mm -hmm. whether it be being anxious being aggressive reactive that excess of energy is going to amplify it so yeah taking that energy out of there is really going to make life easier and it's a good time to bond with your dog Absolutely. in a fun way yep you know you're not doing any obedience necessarily but you're still creating a bond you're still reinforcing some boundaries mm -hmm. uh, and you can throw some obedience in there mm -hmm. you know once they're comfortable with anything new that you're doing oh yeah absolutely I mean just like how you guys saw on the walk I mean we are we're we start bringing obedience into uh, everything that we do with our dogs it's not all about the obedience it's not about the obedience like Bethany just said it's really about doing that bonding work and and these are some ways that aren't sp like specific to obedience but you can add the obedience into it just to make it even more engaging um with your dog and fl flirt poles you use flirt yeah. poles flirt poles are really awesome it's uh really easy to make yourself uh you can get a uh lunge whip for a horse and tie a toy on the end and you just have that ex you drag the toy around move mm -hmm. it in crazy ways and if your dog has any sort of toy drive yep uh they really love that and it's also a good time i do a lot of proofing of my commands mm -hmm. use that flirt pole that toy as a distraction make them hold that command until i release them and then we have a giant party the yeah. dogs have so much fun chasing yeah. that thing yeah jethro loves the flirt pole mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes um, crazy. And you can get that you can get that flirt pole or you can get the um the crop what she was talking about, the horse crop. You can get those at Tractor Supply Plus. So I recommend getting it from there. They're super cheap. They're like I wanna say they're like five dollars. Yeah, I think it's five to ten dollars. Something easy and then you can take a toy. Um some people even use just like a plastic bag tied to the end. Uh to use as something for them to chase but if you know your dog's going to chew on that I definitely recommend using a toy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. awesome so let's see is there anything else that comes to mind stuff that we little extra stuff that we do with our dogs for engagement and draining energy and kind of having fun I like doing stuff uh, making them work for their food so something I've started also as a desensitization exercise with Jethro is I have a cardboard box and I have weird stuff in there. It could be wrapping paper, crinkle paper that you're getting in your packages, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. bubble wrap, and I throw his kibble in there. Mm -hmm. And now he has to use his nose and push that stuff around to get to his food. Mm -hmm. Just something in general, you know, working that brain, mm -hmm. using their nose makes their brain work. And this is something that we do a lot also with our board and train dogs when they are when they when they have when they lack confidence this is a great way to build confidence because when they're digging around in that pool i mean they're making all sorts of noises they're touching different textures and objects that might be kind of foreign to them so i mean it's really a, an experience that 
can freak out some dogs when they mm -hmm. first start to do it. They're like, whoa, what is that? I don't want to go in there. You know, so also great with dogs who lack confidence, great as a fun mental stimulating activity, but also fantastic for puppies. Mm -hmm. If you have a puppy, this is a great activity to do. We've been talking about puppies a ton the past couple of days because, like, the quarantine puppies are real, man. It's crazy. Every it, time I'm out, I pup. see <laughs> several puppies, and there's yeah. been a couple times where I'm like, oh, my gosh, that is dangerous. Please be careful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so definitely, if you get a puppy, do your research, guys. Do your research and share these videos around because there's a lot of really great chunks of gold in them um, especially for new dog owners that pool like she was just saying or a cardboard box or anything that you have that you can put fill it fill it up with um, you know bags bottles cans just random objects you know that that's gonna be so great for puppies great exposure great for your dogs who lack confidence and just for any dog really just yeah. that mental stimulation i mean i already said all that but i just had to like say it again because i think it's like it's such a good thing to do it is and it seems like you know you're probably thinking well this sounds silly mm -hmm. you know but this is something just extra for your dog because especially with you being home you guys could just sit there on the couch for hours and hours and hours there's not a whole lot i've been going stir crazy the dogs, I'm sure, are even going more stir crazy. So it's just something to enrich. Mm -hmm. You know, it sounds like silly stuff, but the dogs really enjoy this stuff. And this is, again, something that you can help build your bond absolutely. with. And that's something we're super big on here. Yep, absolutely. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Some extra things that you can do with your dog to mentally and physically stimulate them. If you guys have any questions write us let us know what you're thinking uh, send us a dm post a comment if you also have ideas about videos that you would like to see in the future please let us know we're happy to kind of um you know put out that content that that you guys need um in order to have a great relationship with your dog so that's what it's all about i think uh, knowledge is power and us being able to kind of have this technology and, and chat with you guys is huge so please talk to us we're show still us. here for you definitely yeah. definitely we're here for everyone you know potential clients or our super loyal clients we're still here for you mm -hmm. during these weird times so yep like share and comment all right till next time thank you so much for following boss canine guys bye